Samsung fans, the wait for One UI 7.0 is still on, but it's promising to be worth every second. Samsung is set to deliver the biggest software update in its history. Let's dive into the leaks and rumors to see why One UI 7 could be a game changer. After months of anticipation, it seems that this version will deliver some of the biggest improvements in the company's history, particularly in system stability, animation, smoothness, and fluidity. Initially, Samsung planned to release the Android 15 based One UI 7.0 beta update in late July 2024, but that never happened. The update has been delayed, and as of now, there's no concrete release date. While all this delay might have frustrated some users, it could actually turn out to be a blessing in disguise. According to trusted Timster Ice Universe, One UI 7.0 is going to be a game changer, with Samsung using this extra time to make sure it's flawless when it finally arrives. So what makes One UI 7.0 such a significant update? Well, according to Ice Universe, it will bring the biggest improvement in Samsung's history when it comes to mobile software. The update is expected to drastically improve system stability and take the fluidity of animations and transitions to a whole new level. These enhancements aren't just tweaks. They're major changes that will redefine the user experience. It's all about creating a smoother, more responsive system that feels polished and seamless. But there's even more to be excited about. Samsung is expected to launch the Galaxy S25 with one UI 7.1 out of the box, and this combination is predicted to offer an experience unlike anything before. According to Ice Universe, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, in particular, will benefit from the synergy between Samsung's software and a powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor, also known as the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Pair that with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and we're looking at a powerhouse device. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is shaping up to be Qualcomm's most advanced chipset yet, and its integration with One UI 7 will likely push the boundaries of performance and efficiency. Now, Ice Universe has even rated One UI 7 based on their personal experience with the software across different devices. For reference, they gave One UI 6 running on the Galaxy S23 series a score of 60 out of 100 for overall smoothness. The Galaxy S24 series running One UI 7, however, jumps up to an impressive 85 points. But what's really interesting is the score they gave the Galaxy S25 series running One UI 7. That's right, a near-perfect 92 points. While these numbers are based on Ice Universe's personal scale and not any scientific testing, it certainly gives us a sense of just how good One UI 7 could feel, especially on Samsung's upcoming flagship devices. So when can we expect to get our hands on One UI 7? Well, the beta version will be available for the Galaxy S24 series in select countries by the end of 2024. This beta phase is crucial for Samsung as it allows them to gather feedback fix bugs, and optimize performance before the official release users have been waiting for. Whether you're planning to upgrade to the Galaxy S25 or sticking with the Galaxy S24, One UI 7 is bound to elevate your smartphone experience. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the official release. If you're excited about One UI 7, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all the latest news on Samsung's upcoming software and devices. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. 
Display. Now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 Hz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch OLED display that also supports 120 Hz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's 18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.